Synodus is a highly integrated multidisciplinary consortium of scientists from all different backgrounds, from basic science to translational science to clinicians that work together to finally come up with drugs in a highly informed manner. It's really important because the traditional way to find drugs is a real trial and error effort. And what we're looking at now is a more comprehensive assessment of every analysis, both when the drug works and when it doesn't work, to understand what the underlying pathways are in the disease, and then to use that knowledge to do faster and better drug development. Synodos is one of the most audacious, beautiful experiments I've seen in a long time. And what I mean by an experiment is it's a set of people who've said, I'm tired of working the way I have in the past, and I want to see if I can tackle a disease or fibromatosis in a, in a way that allows those individuals to have insights they couldn't have possibly had otherwise. How the uh, tumor suppressor uh, exerts its function remain relatively unknown. Um, so that's why this sort of a project um, really is important. It's very rare to have this kind of energy and this kind of collaboration to the point that from the get-go you can see barriers being removed. Before we've touched one piece of equipment, before we have a cell culture, before we put the cells on a robot, we already see advances today. Well, of course, we think it's a, an amazing opportunity for the NF2 community. The goal is to, as I said, bring people together in a way that we haven't been able to come together before with the support of the Children's Tumor Foundation and through that collaborative effort to make things publicly available widely so that other groups can also participate and that way to leverage what we find now. So we hope this will be a real turning point uh, for NF2 research. Our daughter was diagnosed with NF2 when she was 16. She had a concussion following volleyball and we were sort of, our world sort of changed in about 20 minutes. They did a, an MRI and they found two brain tumors in her head. So no, no, so you can just equate it to hope because we are hopeful that there will be an answer to a treatment for NF2 and ultimately a cure. We do feel that way. As an investor, you want to have a defined end goal. You want to know what you're investing in, what the risk is, and you want to know that there's going to be a return on that investment and the return on this investment is going to be that we will have an answer to a question or we will have a treatment and a drug that's FDA approved. So, The huge value of such a consortium is that you spend your money on a multidisciplinary activity. So it's almost like looking at the machine. If you would give your money only to the programmer, you would only get programming data back. If you give your money only to the mechanic, you will only get mechanical data back. What we're doing with this consortium is we bring all the engineers together from the software expert to the mechanic to the guy who knows the inside out of the machine. And we bring those people together to understand NF as a, as a complete disease. And I think that is where the value is of the foundation is in funding research that is done by in such a collaborative manner because that's a lot of work. That is why we have personnel at CTF completely allocated to this initiative so that we can manage the collaboration, we can help the data sharing, we can help a lot of things that, would, that an individual donor towards an individual lab would not be able to do. And on top of that, what I see is that people are willing to do much more for less money because they see the value in getting access to data that normally they would never get access to. So it's kind of a win-win for both the researchers and for the foundation, and especially for the patients. It's Charles Yates. I am at uh, Indiana University. Brian Bott with Sage BioNetworks. Steve Hegarty. I'm a faculty member here in the Center for Human Genetic Research. I'm um, Christina Fernandez-Valle. I'm at the University of Central Florida. Justin Ganey. I'm a computational biologist at Sage BioNetworks. Steve Angus. I'm a member of Gary Johnson's lab, University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. I'm Vijaya Ramesh. I'm one of the faculty members at the CHGR at MGH.